Hello and welcome to Volusia Magazine. I'm Amber Patterson and we're glad to have you with us. Today, Business Beat correspondent Michelle Coates will bring us a sweet report about a Daytona Beach chocolate factory, Angel and Phelps. I'm Michelle Coates with The Business Beat, and today we're at the top 10 sweetest attractions in the nation, Angel and Phelps on Beach Street. During the presidency of Calvin Coolidge in the days of flapper dresses and 21 cent gallons of fuel, Riddell Angel and Cora Phelps began Angel and Phelps in Daytona Beach. The feisty pair perfected chocolate making before the days of air conditioning. What we're best known for is fresh, handmade chocolates and all kinds of different assortments. In the 1920s, Ms. Angel and Ms. Phelps opened their first Angel and Phelps store on Beach Street. At the time, opening a chocolate factory was quite a bold move for the pair. They held on to the business for nearly 30 years before selling it to a local man who held on to it for another 30 years or so. And when Mr. Reisinger was ready to sell, he found the perfect buyer. The Smith family has nurtured the business for the last 25 years. Customer service with a personal touch, high quality ingredients, and a few secret recipes have been the keys to their success. Our cream centers, a lot of people rave about that. Even people that say to me all the time, I didn't, never used to like the creamy ones in the box, but they like ours, they're very flavorful. About 15 years ago, the Smiths moved the store to a larger facility, a few blocks north on Beach Street. But that's about all that's changed over the company's 85-year history. They've added a few more new products, like chocolate-covered potato chips and key lime chocolates. Really, it's the same basic recipe, and you add different flavors. A lot of these things are like that. We've added some white chocolate over the years. That was a big uh, thing that people wanted to see more white chocolate, so we actually have a, a peanut butter white chocolate. It's actually it's in a butterfly shape, so we call it peanut butterfly. That long-standing quality was recognized by TripAdvisor.com. The chocolate factory was listed ninth on America's top 10 sweetest attractions. The store offers free factory tours Monday through Friday, samples included. What makes us unique is that people can come in and buy and pick out their own kind, especially dark chocolates that some people can't get in other places they can get here. Some of our most popular items, though, is, is the, the chocolate molded items that we make, all kinds of unique shapes, especially when they say Daytona Beach, handwritten on the particular mold. The process itself looks a lot like that famous I Love Lucy episode where Lucy and Ethel were working in a chocolate factory. Except you won't see these employees stuffing their faces. Just happy customers in the candy shop. The sights, sounds, smells, and most importantly, the taste of delicious chocolate will overwhelm your senses. At any given time, the store has about 2,000 pounds of chocolate on hand. There are no preservatives or fillers in these recipes, but that's not a concern. This stuff practically flies off the shelves. If you look towards the doorway, you'll find a machine churning white chocolate. This the chocolate business is usually very seasonal, but Angel and Phelps, thanks to their free tours, is busy year-round. Most of their sales are made to locals, but Smith also reaches out to tourists and chocoholics online. Visit this Daytona landmark and enter the world of fabulous, delicious chocolate. Check it out at angelandphelps.com or stop by for a tour. I'm Michelle Coates for The Business Beat.